Hi, this is Dr. Marshall from Marshall Orthodontics. In this video, I'll be going over how to take orthodontic photos from home. The first part will cover how to take teeth photos. The second part will cover how to take face photos. You will need a camera or a phone with camera capability and a family or friend to help you take the photos. For teeth photos, you'll need two spoons and clean hands as well. If you have a removable appliance in your mouth, such as a Schwartz, clear aligner, or retainer, please remove those from your mouth. For face photos, please remove hats, glasses, and scarves, and make sure to pull your hair back into a ponytail if you have long hair. Please do not take photos in the mirror. Please be careful not to posture or move your lower jaw forward when taking any pictures. Try to bite like normal. For almost everyone, when biting correctly, your top and bottom back teeth should be touching each other. Now that you are ready, let's start with teeth photos. These were all taken with spoons and a smartphone. Make sure you have the flash on for your camera. Zoom in as much as you can, but make sure it's still in focus. Don't move your lower jaw forward. Let's start with the intraoral center photo. Place the spoons on the inside of the right and left cheeks and bite down. Try to keep the lip away from the teeth so that we can see most or all of the front teeth. You can try different size spoons to see what works best for you. Next. Let's take the left and right teeth photos. Put the spoon on one side only, bite down, and then pull your lips apart in the front of your face with your other hand. Next, pivot the spoon handle to the back. The angle of the spoon relative to your face is important. Try to angle the spoon as close to parallel to the shoulders. Putting the spoon in too deep will make this harder. You may want to try putting the spoon around the middle of your back teeth rather than the very back. Now, when taking the photo, try to angle the camera so that you can see the teeth on the side you're working, but you can't see the teeth on the other side. The blue diamonds indicate the teeth on the other side that you don't really want to see in your photo. It may help to have the patient rotate their head to the other side to get the best angle. Make sure the patient is biting down all the way. Take a photo of the opposite side so you have a photo of the left side and a photo of the right side. Now let's move on to taking the photo of lower teeth. Put the spoons on the right and left inside cheeks. Tuck your chin in so that you are facing downwards, and then open your mouth as wide as possible. Try to keep the tongue off of the teeth. Photo 1 has the best angle. Photo 2 shows more back teeth, but the angle is not great. Photo 3 is not too helpful because the lip is covering the teeth in the front. You can email us both types of photos, photos 1 and 2. Next, let's take the photo of upper teeth. Place both spoons in with this type of angulation. Tilt your head up and open as wide as you can. Try to keep the lip away from the teeth. If you are instructed to just take the teeth photos, you're all done. You can skip to the end of the video for instructions on emailing the photos. For the rest of us, let's move on to taking face photos. Just as a reminder, make sure you remove any hats, glasses, scarves, and that your hair is pulled back if you have long hair. I didn't tie my patient's hair in these photos, but it would have been better to tie her hair. The first photo is just a neutral, non-smiling photo from the front. Try to take it straight on instead of at an angle. 
The second photo is a smiling photo. Try to smile as big as possible and show teeth. The last photo is a side photo. No smiling here. Try to not put your chin up or down. Try to have a neutral, normal head angle. I usually tell my patients to pretend like you're gazing far out to the horizon. Once you have the head angle correct, start rotating your head slightly to the right until you can see a bit of the left side eyebrow or eyelashes. As a reminder, make sure you are biting like normal and not moving your lower jaw forward. And that's it. You made it. Please email us the photos to our normal email address, info at lamesabraces.com, so that they can be reviewed. If you send it through normal email, please be aware that there is always the potential that emails could be intercepted and misused by malicious people. To send the photos with encryption for more security, you can create a free account with sendinc.com and email the photos to us via sendinc. Thank you so much for your hard work today and I look forward to seeing your photos.